Okay, hey there, how you doing? Good to see you, welcome to the channel. Just wanted to show you this small pressure washing job I'm doing today, just over here. You might remember a couple of weeks ago, I was literally just doing this job recently. Great transformation, turned out really good. Still looks great, which is good, it was only a couple of weeks ago. Um, but while I was there, this neighbor from across the road came and asked me for a quote. So I'm back here to do this job. Um, now it's only a small job and I wanted to explain about minimum charge, my minimum charge. So people quite often on my channel ask me how much I charge for things, various jobs that I've done. Um, but I never like to say, it's so difficult to explain, there's so many different things that it depends on where you are in the country, what kind of service you're providing, you know, whether it's a comprehensive service or a basic service, how you pitch your business, all that stuff. But um, there is a method that I use to quote, and I have made a video about that. I'll put the link in the description. So I think that's the important thing, to have a method, have a set way of gauging the cost I charge per meter squared, and then at least you've got a method in place, and you can adjust that method depending on your business and, and how the job goes. Anyway, I always set a minimum charge based on you know how far I'm gonna travel, the time it takes to load, unload, set up the equipment, a little bit of fuel, chemical, all that kind of stuff. Um, so there's always gonna be a minimum cost that you want from any job. Now I wanted to show you this job because this job came in at slightly above my minimum cost. Now you wanna set the minimum cost, whatever's good for you. Might be 100 pounds, might be 125, 150. So this job, when I measured it, I worked out the cost, came in a bit above my minimum charge. So I thought I'd show you the job anyway. Um, and it gives you an idea. Yeah, I've been on a big job all morning today. So it's now just before three o'clock, just before three. I'll pop down, give this job, uh, give this job a once over. Shouldn't take more than a couple of hours. Then hopefully it'll be a dry day tomorrow and I can come back and do the sand tomorrow afternoon. The forecast is for sunshine, but you never can tell. So let's see, let's see how we get on. Thank you. 